Hey guys, got a really unique fixture for you today. Certainly unique to me, I haven't seen many designs like this. Um, it's by an Australian company. It's great to have um, an Australian company on the channel. Got lots of loyal viewers in Australia, so really nice to have something that's uh, particular to your market and locally available. Um, this is by a company called Hypar, and this is their smaller, they have two models. This is the smaller one, uh, the Spectro LED 240 watt model. It's really unusual because I haven't seen this um, other than maybe Sunlight in Europe um, and maybe some others you might let me know in the links below, but I haven't seen many with this particular design. It's um, beamed down the center with the driver enclosed and connections at each end. And then it has these six of these individual LED modules which uh, connect into the main beam and are screwed in place. It means you can swap out LED bores in the future if needs be, which is a, an excellent feature. The, each LED board itself has cool white and um, red LEDs for enhanced efficiency, um, perfectly suitable from growing seed to flower. Each one is also enclosed, so you've got acrylic covers over the LEDs to give really high level of protection. This will reduce the light output just a little bit, but um, you know, if you're looking for a really robust fixture, this is definitely one. Beautifully built, really nice finish, um, kind of cool and funky heat sinks on the back of these LED modules, which I really like. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's uh, it was really simple as well to um, install just straight out of the box, just hangers on each end and plug it in and that's it. You get dimming a standard, so there's a dimming control which you can attach remote to the, um, to the light. Uh, and adjust in increments of 25%. And yeah, so um, put it in for test. It uh, draws 260 watts at 240 volts. Um, and by the way, this light only operates at 200 to 240 volts, so it's not suitable for the, um, the US market. But it uh, uh, arranged it then in a four by two, which is what it's recommended for. That's 120 by 60 centimeter space and um, found the optimum hang height, that is where the highest center point measurement is no more than a thousand micromoles. I so found that optimum hang height to be 44 centimeters, just under 18 inches. And yeah, took uh, 32 measurements then, power measurements across the target area um, with silver mylar enclosed walls and got a result, the average power was 743 micromoles, um, which is a really good level in the grow area. And the system efficiency was 2.07 micromoles per watt, or usable PPF per watt. So a good system efficiency from this model and did well in the test. As I said, available in Australia, I think at the moment, uh, links below to the product page and um, distributors. And yeah, would highly recommend this light. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Take care.